Now at five, it has been nearly 40 years since a woman was found dead in a cornfield in Brooks County. For decades, her identity unknown until now. It was a sad discovery on Halloween night in 1981, her death becoming a big mystery for the small Georgia town. Our Jada Williams is live in Quitman tonight. And Jada, how did this cold case finally get solved? Ava, a woman here in Quitman heard about the Jane Doe in Brooks County, so she came out to her grave site. She decided to snap a picture with her cell phone and make a Facebook group for people to all over the country to see and figure out if they know who the woman in this grave is. Now, only a few days after she made that Facebook group, someone did recognize the woman whose face is etched on this gravestone. And now for Shirlene Hammock's family, there's some closure. For 38 years, her death, a mystery to the small Georgia town of Quitman, and an even bigger mystery to her family, only three hours away in Thomaston, Georgia. It was difficult growing up, not knowing or not knowing where she was, if she was safe, if she was being taken care of. Um, a lot of worrying, a lot of looking. We searched and searched and we just had no answers. On Halloween night in 1981, Brooks County deputies found a young woman in a cornfield. She had been strangled and stabbed. You know, this case was different than a lot that we worked because there was an arrest and a conviction in the case. Shortly after the body was found, George Newsom was arrested in a stolen camper. Inside, police were able to find rope that they believed was used to strangle the mystery woman. He later confessed, telling police he met the woman at the North Florida Fairgrounds, invited her to join him in his traveling fair, but shortly after, he said he killed her because of an argument about another man. I figured she was going to come back, but it's, the years went on and on, and I think we knew really down deep in our heart that something didn't happen to her. So while her family searched, so did the Brooks County community. The Maxwell Purvis Funeral Home kept her body for months, inviting people to come in and try to identify her. Then the Bunting family stepped up to cover her burial, putting her in a family plot. The headstone, the, the grave marker, um, and it has a composite of the, of the victim. There's a quote on there that says, known only to God. Yet decades passed with no answers until a Facebook post in 2018 changed everything. We're very grateful to Kelly Sage for posting it, and we're very grateful to Kayla Bishop, who is from our hometown, who lives here now, that actually saw it and shared it. 37 years to the date of her murder, Kayla Bishop told investigators she believed the Jane Doe was her childhood friend, Charlene Hammock. Investigators found the family and reached out to them for DNA testing. We continuously, week after week, hounded them about how long, you know, how much longer is it going to be. After a year of waiting, DNA testing linked the family to their missing loved one. It's very sad, but at the same time, it's a joyous moment. Lane Hammock's family is now working to bring her body back to the hometown of Thomaston, Georgia. Reporting live in Brooks County, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, uh, Jada. Getting George Newsom to pay for what he did to Shirlene did not come easy. A week after his arrest in Brooks County, he escaped from jail. Newsom was on the run for two years. Before he was captured in Alabama, he was sentenced to life in prison, which only ended up being five years. He died in 1988 of natural causes.